So we put all the hardware together and now we need to load the example project. So I already have AVR Studio 5 open and we're going to open a new example project. So this opens the new example project window and it's a technology project and within technology there's a group of projects called sensors and we're going to load the compass sensor calibration demonstration for the UC3 explained board. It gives the project a name. If you're happy with that name, you can accept it. Say OK. It uh, comes up with a license agreement that I've already read, so I'm going to accept that. So the project is now loading. So that's loaded the project. Very straightforward to do that. And now, because it's a pre-built and pre-tested project, we can just build the project and directly download it to the device. So we select the debug and the start without debugging option and this will build the project uh, which can take a minute or so. So we've downloaded the program to the UC3 A3 device and now we need to calibrate the sensor. This involves moving the board around so I'm going to unplug the JTAG ICE cable from the board because it gets in the way and we don't need it at this stage. So now to run the calibration we need to use a terminal emulation program so I'm going to use hyperterm in this case so let's open a hyperterm window we're going to select COM13 in this case and we're going to select a board rate of 115200 so now we have the board flat we press the button and it tells us to lay the floor the board flat and press the button so it's flat so let's press the button now rotate it 180 degrees, so that means rotate it to 180 degrees. Press the button a second time and then flip the board over and press the button a third time. So now the device is calibrated and is streaming the direction data. So this direction is the magnetic heading. The inclination for the angle of the, uh, of the magnetic field and the magnetic field strength. So as I rotate the board you can see that the direction changes and when we get to zero that's uh, magnetic north so this tells us where magnetic north is and as we rotate the board we can see the uh, difference between our heading and magnetic north. Now that we've completed the calibration process the coefficients have been calculated, downloaded and are stored in E squared on the UC3A3 device so in future when we power the device up and use the function calls it will use those calibration coefficients and give us a magnetic heading for this location.